We present PIPO dataset, a large-scale image quality assessment dataset for perceptual image restoration. Image restoration aims at recovering a high-quality image from its degraded observation. Image quality assessment methods were developed to measure the perceptual quality of the images. That's one of the most important applications of IQA. They were widely used to evaluate image restoration algorithms such as PSNR, SSIN, and Perceptual Index. Recently, perceptual-driven algorithms have been proposed to achieve photorealism in image restoration, which is different from the PSNR-oriented algorithms that try to obtain less distorted outputs. The invention of generative adversarial networks greatly improves the perceptual performance of these algorithms. However, evaluating their outputs presents a great challenge to image quality assessment, as they bring completely new characteristics to the output images. We observe an increasing inconsistency between high numerical performance and perceptual performance. For example, when evaluated PSNR-oriented and gun-based algorithms, the common used PSNR and SSIM are in contrast to the human judgment. As shown in the figures, human prefer the green box gun based output as it contains more texture. However, it performs poorly when evaluating using PSNR and SSIM. The same situation also appears when evaluating gun based algorithms with advanced perceptual metrics such as PI and NIQE. Algorithms with high PI and NIQE performance could still produce images with obvious unrealistic artifacts. We naturally raise the following questions. The first is, can existing IQE methods objectively evaluate current image restoration algorithms, especially GAN-based algorithms? The second is, with the focus on beating benchmarks on the flawed IQE method, are we getting better image re restoration algorithms? To answer this question would be a large-scale IQA dataset called PayPal, Perceptual Image Processing Algorithms. PayPal contains 250 reference images, 40 distortion types, 29,000 distortion images, and more than 1 million human readings. Especially, we include output of GAN-based algorithms as a novel GAN distortion type. As shown in the figure, unlike the traditional distortions in the upper row, which do not follow the natural image distribution, the GAN-based outputs are actually similar to nature images, however, their details are wrong. We employ the ELO rating system to assign mean opinion scores for all the 29,000 distortion images. The ELO rating system is a statistic-based rating system and is first proposed for assessing chess player levels. The difference of the ELO scores indicates the probability of users' performance and can be also assigned to be the mean opinion scores for each image. We update the ELO scores by pairwise human judgment. The ELO rating system is also extendable in the future. An example might help to understand the ELO system. For two images with their ELO scores RA and RB, we first calculate the probability of performance for both of them, and then we collect the user judgment. Based on the user judgment, we update the ELO scores for both image A and B. With millions of real judgments, the ELO scores will converge and are collected as the mean opinion score for the distortion images. Based on PayPal dataset, we first build a benchmark for IQA methods to answer the first question. Can existing IQA methods objectively evaluate current image restoration algorithms? especially GAN-based algorithms. We collect 23 state-of-the-art IQA methods to build the benchmark. As shown in this figure, PayPal dataset poses a great challenge to IQA method. Even the best method provides only 0.7 experiment correlation scores, 
which is much lower than their performance on the previous dataset, which is about 0 0.9. We then present analysis of IQA methods as super-resolution metrics. The first row shows the scatter plot of the mean opinion scores versus IQA objective scores for all the SR algorithms. The second row gives a scatter plot for only GAN-based SR algorithms. As can be seen, the most widely used metrics such as PSNR, SSIN, and IFC are anti-correlated with human judgment. It indicates that these metrics fail to evaluate super-resolution algorithms. NIQE and PI are suggesting recent perceptual image restoration works, and they show moderate performance. LPIPS and PIAP are the most correlated. Analysis of these results leads to the following conclusions. First, paper dataset with novel GAN-based distortion poses challenges for an IQA method. Second, evaluating image restoration algorithms only using existing IQA metrics is not appropriate. And third, deep network-based IQA methods perform better, such as LPIPS, PIAP, and DSTS. About the second question, are we getting better image restoration algorithms by building benchmarks on the flawed IQA methods? We also build benchmark for image restoration algorithms to answer this question. We take super-resolution tasks as a representative. These algorithms are included in paper dataset. One can observe that before 2017, when GAN was applied to super-resolution, the PSNR performance improves continuously, especially the deep learning-based algorithms improve PSNR by about 1.4 dB. These efforts do improve the subjective performance. The average mean opinion scores increases by about 90 in four years. After ESR GAN was proposed, the PSNR decreased by about 2.6 dB compared to the state-of-the-art PSNR performance, but the mean opinion score increased by about 90 suddenly. The emergence of GAN invalidates the role of PSNR in getting perceptual performance. After ESR GAN, PI and NIQE are used as an alternative. The rank SR GAN outperform ESR GAN in both PI and NIQE metrics. However, its mean opinion scores are still lower than ESR GAN. Recall that PI and NIQE provide moderate performance on paper dataset, thus, they also fail to get the perceptual super resolution algorithms. This observation inspires us in two aspects. First, none of the existing IQA methods is always effective in evaluation. With the development of image restoration technology, new IQA methods need to be proposed accordingly. Second, excessively optimizing performance on a specific IQA may cause a decrease in perceptual quality. For conclusion, our work indicates that GAN-based algorithms pose challenges to existing IQA methods, and these IQA methods are inadequate in evaluating perceptual image restoration algorithms. Among them, deep network-based IQA methods show better performance. For more information and details, please check our project page and group page. Thank you.